Hey, Dan Meyer here, and I'm back again to bring you five more tips for Filipino VAs to land American clients. So every week I'm in front of small business owners here in the U.S., and they are really asking for how do I know the VA is going to be the right VA for me? How can they really do the things I need to do? Well, one of the ways is that if you have the right way to present yourself, it's easier for me to connect you. I can sell you, right? I can broker a deal between the client and you. Um, American small business owners need help. They're too busy. They have too many tasks to do. They need to delegate some of that to someone like you. So I'm going to give you five tips on how to use your Facebook profile to really attract clients. Now, you're going to do this for two reasons. One, because they're going to look at your Facebook to see if you're like someone they want to work with. And two, if they see on your Facebook that you are someone they want to work with, they want to ensure assurance that you're actually going to be able to deliver long term, that you're not just someone who's going to like work for a couple, you know, weeks and not work out and they'll be done, have to try it over again. So they want to do the, you want to do these things. You want to do these five things with your profile. Number one is your Facebook profile should be about sharing your story. Your story is a person as well as a VA. A VA is a piece of you, but you're also part of a family. You're part of a community. You're part of a whatever it is you belong to, an organization, a school, a, whatever you've done defines who you are, whatever your, your interests are, whatever your hobbies are. So these things should be visible on your profile. You want to make your, pro, your profile engaging. You want to make sure you have a lot of good pictures, right? You want to also show things that include your comments accomplishments, right? Things that if you graduated, got a certification, if you've you know finished some kind of course, if you've done something to level up, share that stuff on your Facebook profile. Think about your Facebook profile as no longer just your profile to be able to share with your friends what you're up to. Because people are going to look at it. Even if you have a business page as a virtual assistant, even if you have a website, they're still going to probably look at your Facebook profile because most American small business owners probably at least 90%. The number one website they go to, both when they're thinking, you know, killing time at work or thinking about their business or networking is on Facebook. Most middle-aged, you know, American small business owners, entrepreneurs, some of them are younger, some a little older, they're probably all on Facebook. So you want to make sure that when they look at your Facebook page, which they will, they don't see some crazy stuff. You want to actually, you know, decide if you really want to be a virtual assistant and you really want to land good clients, you got to treat your Facebook with a bit of a business mindset. I know it sucks, but that's just the reality we live in. So your accomplishments is number two. Show your accomplishments. Number three, you want to share your personality, right? You want to make sure that you are coming across as someone that people want to work with, right? If you have a lot of negative posts, if you have a lot of crazy stuff on your Facebook page, people aren't going to want to work with you. So you got to make a choice. Do you post that stuff? at least publicly, or do you keep it within a, you know, make a make a group that can see it or just your friends that can see it. But eventually the client's probably going to be your friend if you're going to work with them. So you're going to have to think about that one. So number four, target your niche, right? So you want to think about who you're trying to work with and you want to align that, right? So if you are going to, you want to work as a real estate VA, then you should have a lot of pictures that kind of in articles and, and things you're sharing that talk about how you're going to help them with that, right? You know, maybe you're into understanding real estate. Maybe um, you have plans and someday to get into real estate. Maybe you've got a background in real estate. Think of some things that you can share that hit that niche. Same thing if you want to work for people that are doing coaching or speaking or training or authors. Again, you don't have to completely change your profile to fit that that niche, but you want to think about it, right? If you think about these things and you design how you pr you promote yourself, people are going to want to hire you. And number five is stay connected. Post a lot every day. Post something cool. Um, it can be a fun selfie. It could be a group activity. It could be a family thing. But you want to mix it up with like, oh, I found this interesting about this um, article about graphic design. This is a new tool that I just learned. This is something that I want to figure out how I can do to help businesses. You want to mix that stuff up, right? So your Facebook profile should at least have, you know, every third or fourth picture or post or video should be something that's going to make people go, yeah, I want to work with this person. So that's how you have to think about Facebook. That's my five tips for today about your Facebook profile. If you want to be a successful virtual assistant and you want to land a client, especially American small business clients, you have to think a little different. So there you go. I hope that helps. Please hit the subscribe button, drop any comments below that you have, and I look forward um, to more videos. I love talking about this. I love the Philippines. I love Filipino VAs. I love American business owners. I love matchmaking them. So I will be back soon with more videos. So that's it for today. So get out there and be amazing.